Okay, we're unboxing the FC Model Trends Matilda entry tank. I wanted to get this because of the 3D technology. This is the first full kit that I've purchased as a 3D model. I don't even know if I've gotten any parts from anybody. I ordered this on Monday and it arrived yesterday. So I got it within about 10 days from Spain to do Florida. Okay. All right, here are the parts. I'm really excited to see this. So in the 3D process, the resin flows and I guess hardens and you get these little trees kind of like on a model tree, you get it like this. 3D printed, you get it like this. I'll have to cut this away. So, this is really... Looks pretty sharp, actually. The detail looks pretty good. So, the key is going to be cutting these out. Let's see what else we got here. Wow, there you go. Huh. This piece seems to be stuck on here. Oh, it's, yes it is. So it looks like a lot of cleanup. It's gonna be a lot of cleanup. So that being said, I got some work to do. Look at that. This one just came off. So there's going to be a lot of cutting. And I guess I will start with a hobby knife and one of these to start snipping it. So it's going to be very interesting, but detail looks really good so far. It looks like the, the parts are in a cage. So this is really cool. Most all detail is molded, as you can see, onto the tank. And it looks really fine and nice. Wow. So this was under $100 shipped. And um, for the amount of work that probably went into it to draw up this model in 3D, print it out, I mean, for a small company, hey. But see how it turns out and uh, maybe I'll do a video on finishing the completion of it so anyway FC model trends Matilda one light infantry tank they use these in France 1940 and I guess uh, Germans ran the, the British back to Dunkirk so, okay, well, that's it for unboxing, and uh, hopefully we'll move on and uh, get this guy finished. Okay, here's the completed model, cleaned up, uh, put together with super glue, and painted uh, with my usual techniques um, that you've seen in my step-by-steps. This is way pre weathered and um, I think the detail is outstanding I mean just check out the, the wires right here on the light it's just amazing the, the detail there the detail on the wiring to the lights the grab handles
you know, everything is, uh, the smoke launchers are hollow and this is all from 3D printing. So, um, I'm real impressed, but the, the web of tree that it holds on during the 3D process, uh, is just awful that you lose detail trying to clean it up. Um, hopefully some of the detail I'm, I've lost will get kind of buried in the weathering. Um, I don't think you're going to see it, but stuff like this, where the, the pipes, all this was molded right on. All these undercuts, you don't have to add it. The only thing you added is what you saw earlier, the turret and the tracks and the hatch cover. So anyway, I think uh, there's a big future in 3D printing, especially for those who don't want to do a lot of build and have super detail. Just got to perfect the, the trees that the parts are hooked to. This spider web of, uh, of resin that's left to create this, this model in 3D. Once they've uh, got that a little bit better, these are gonna be really awesome kits. But as I said, I, I've, I've had to snip off some detail on the tracks, some of the, um, the teeth came off during the uh, cleanup. So, you know, it's it's kind of the good, the bad, the ugly in this kit. But I think the, the good outlast the bad. It's just got, we got a ways to go. This is early in the 3D modeling. So um, decals, I just, it doesn't come with any decals to kit. I had some British markings from some other uh, models that I kind of threw together on here to get as close as I could to to what they had. So anyway, uh, on to weathering and I'll see if I can complete this one. I moved it ahead of a lot of my other projects because being it's a new technology, I, uh, I wanted to get something out there. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna build a diorama for this one, a small little scene. You can see the tank is finished with the weathering process. It's weathered with artist oils and pastels that I ground into powder. Uh, you can use pigments and you can check out some of the ways I do this and my other step-by-step -step armor finishing. Wanted to add some figures, needed some early war British tankers. So where was I gonna find those? Gecko. Gecko has some early war tankers. They're fairly detailed. And here you can see the tank finished obviously with the figures. They're not painted. And I've got a diorama and I'm getting started. You can see them standing there and it's just a small base that I've created. And here we see the base started. I've painted with an undercoat of a yellow orchard, ochre brown color. Uh, you can see some photo etched plants up there. There's static grass. Everything's painted because I'm gonna paint it even more uh, here to come. You can see that I've sprayed over the grass with a greenish tone and the road is also sprayed with tones of yellows and browns to recreate the soil in France. So the scene is coming together. Uh, you can check out my other step-by-steps on the way I do diorama bases. And here is the final model. I got a sign from Mini Art and you can see the grass has been painted with a dry brushing effect on the grass with artist oils. Same with the plants. There's some dried plants there. And the figures are finally painted. I made a map. I looked, I find some maps, World War II maps online and I just reduced their size. And that way I can put them in their hands and they look really realistic print them out on a color printer. And then the final scene, 
put together France 1940 and here is some reference uh, as I start my models I first go on the internet and start searching putting in all the keywords for this tank and I try to find as much as I can reference before I start the build and I put everything in a folder and keep it handy to refer to and it also gives me some ideas and inspiration I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for more step-by-step -step armor finishing videos thank you